Now, let us see the different kinds of movements that are produced in plants and how these kind of movements are produced. Movement due to growth. Here, the responses are of different types. Some responses in plants are very quick. Some responses are slow. Some responses are very slow. Even though they are a response to a stimulus, it happens very slowly. Now, let us see the case here. Response to different things like light, gravity, touch, water, chemicals. We call these kind of slow movements as tropic movements which are absorbed in plants. Tropic movements. So, plants respond to this light, gravity that is towards the earth, touch, water, chemicals. You see the light, we call it as phototropism, plants respond to light. The shoot always grow towards the sunlight, it is because of uh, some chemical compound present in its tip. But we see the movement of stem growing towards sunlight. Roots always grow away from the sunlight. So here the phototropism is again two kinds, positive and negative. So the roots, they move away from the sun, that is negative zeotropism. The shoot, it grows towards the sun, that is positive phototropism. So the tropic movements towards the light are called as phototropism. The second thing is gravity. That is earth. The roots always grow towards the earth. They grow down, not up. The shoot grows away from the earth. So in this case, the shoot it shows negative geotrophism away from the earth. The roots they show positive geotrophism moving towards the earth. That is gravity. And again if you see that, the roots they grow towards the water. So this is the earth. The roots may grow in this direction towards the earth. Sometimes here there is a water source. The root it grows towards the water. The roots of the plants and trees, they move in the ground. Underground, the roots will move. Movement is in search of water. So that is called as hydrotrophism. So these are the three familiar known tropisms. And what are the other two? Thigmotrophism, touch. Chemotrophism, chemicals. So touch is also in case of uh, sometimes uh, here we see that the response, quick response. When we touch the mimosa plant, the leaves they droop. That is a response to touch. And sometimes we see that the plant, it moves towards an object. That is to coil for support, tendrils. If you see the creepers, climbers, they have a soft thread-like structure called tendril. These tendrils, they grow towards an object. They coil around the object. And they hold the, they get the support to grow up grow straight because they do not have strength to go straight grow straight so they take help of this other objects with the help of tendrils and again there a tendril it coils around some object how can it coil how does it know how it produces the uh, coiling so thigmotrophism that is the tendrils some plants like creepers Climbers, they have got very weak stem, so by that, they cannot stand erect on their own because of less strength. They need some support, so they crawl or they climb other trees with the help of tendrils. They produce fine thread-like structures called tendrils. So these tendrils, they coil around an object. How they are able to coil around an object? The tendril, it comes in contact with some object. The part of the tendril which is in contact with the object, it grows slower. The part of the tendril which is not in contact with the object, it grows faster. So by that it takes turn. So by that it can coil around the object. In this way it holds, it gets the support and it climbs. So that is kind of a tropic movement. We find the other one is chemotrophism. Here the example is, you know the process of fertilization in flower. When the pollen grain reaches the stigma of the flower, the female reproductive part here. So here, the pollen tube it grows down, it extends and it goes down into the ovule. The pollen tube is growing. It is going into the ovary. 
but how do it know the direction how it can go inside what stimulus is directing the pollen tube to grow towards it is because of the chemicals present inside the ovary so the trophism towards the trophic movements towards the chemicals is called as chemotrophism so in this way various kinds of trophic movements are observed in plants and all these trophic movements are associated with growth if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus